Hi everybody, for those of you new to the channel, I'm Teresa Perrin and I want to discuss Carvana again with you today because there's been insider buying that came out and guys, I firmly believe that what has started is the beginning of a short squeeze as well as a potential gamma squeeze in the works for this week when we have monthly options that come into play. Guys, I think that this is a huge opportunity and I don't want you to miss out. Again, I'm not recommending that you buy, hold, or sell any stocks that I talk about. It's not financial advice. This is my personal opinion and how I'm playing Carvana. Let's get started. If you could smash that like button for me, I would greatly appreciate it as it helps get the news out there and helps with the algorithms. Thanks so much. All right, guys, I have made more than one video on Carvana. So if you want more information, you can always check out those other ones um, by looking at my portfolio um, on YouTube. However, let's start with what I'm seeing currently. Carvana right now is up on Friday, 18.92% or $1.89. It is slightly down in the after hours. Again, guys, nothing of concern, 2.36% or 28 cents, which is normal. I see this... Um, every day with a lot of stocks because the volatility is, um, or I shouldn't say it's volatility. Um, there's not a lot of trading after hours, so it's an opportunity um, to drive the price in one direction or another, and 28 cents is really nothing on this stock. But guys, it is currently um, consolidating at this level here, which is perfect because that's what we wanna see on the move up. We don't wanna see it just rip and um, then fall back with no support. But I do believe that this is starting a pattern that's going to continue to move upwards. Now. In the past week, we're up 31.82% or $2.80. However, in the past three months, we are down $39.33 or 77.22%. Guys, this stock, I would be lying if I didn't tell you it's been a falling knife. Look at just one year ago, well, slightly over a year now, but between July 19th and August 13th of 2021, it hit its all-time high of $376.83. So whoever's been shorting this all the way from there, guys, has made substantial, and I mean substantial gains. Um, it's crazy, right? So um, quite a big difference from the price it's trading at now at $11 and change. And it has a lot of room to the upside to go, which is why I believe that this could be an epic, and I do mean epic squeeze. Now, um, we got news that insider buying has been happening on Friday. Um, this article came out. Michael Marone is the lead independent director of Carvana, and they just picked up 140% more shares. Um, he spent $861,000 at an average price of $8.61, increasing their holdings by a full 140 percent. Um, now, Ernest Garsha just made it a purchase as well. Same day, 269 million worth of shares at about $80. I'm sorry, this is an older one. This is the um, insider transactions over the past year. Ernest Garsha um, spent 269 million worth of shares when it was $80 per share, guys. Um, that's crazy. So, he wanted to buy it at $80, hasn't sold it. Um, yeah, it's possible he regrets that purchase, but more than likely, like this article says, he's bullish about the company going forward and realizes that $80 was a cheap price and he doesn't care about what's happening in the meantime. In the past 12 months, Insider purchased 5.79 million shares for a total of 439 million shares and they only sold 49 shares at $8,100. So guys, this is quite a significant buy versus sell, which kind of tells a story when you think about it, right? Um, you know, you gotta remember that going forward, insiders own 58 million worth of the company's shares, which equates to 3.4% of the company. Now, um, I just wanted to bring up this vi uh, article as well because it also came out on Friday saying that on November 7th, the director Ira Platt 
purchased 50,000 shares of Carvana at an average price of $7.40 for a total value of $370,000. Now, guys, um, this is just nuts. Absolutely nuts because, and I don't... I don't understand why it got this low, but it is what it is. And I think that the opportunity here is clearly in our favor, especially when you see that insiders are buying this up. Again, this talks about Michael uh, Maroon. I hope I'm saying that correctly, who um, also, you know, like I said, purchased. Um, and then the these were the first insider purchases since June 15th when the chief product officer, Daniel Gill, acquired 94,000 shares at $21.77. So guys, I mean, since June, this he lost half the value of those 94,000 shares. This is an opportunity here. You don't see them freaking out and selling, right? What does that tell you? Now, why exactly are these directors buying? Well, according to this article, Carvana is trading near its all-time low. Yeah, absolutely it is. It actually hit its all-time low this past week. Carvana currently carries a minuscule price-to-sales ratio, or P-slash-S ratio, of 0.06 times. That's below Carvana's five-year average price-to-sale ratio of 1.37 times and miles away from the all-time high price-to-sale ratio of 4.1 times seen last August, which I just showed you above when it was trading in that 370 something dollar range, right? For comparison, the S&P 500 currently carries a price-to-sale ratio of 2.27x. Guys, see the difference between even the S&P 500? 2.27x versus 0.06x, which tells us that Carvana is very, very, very cheap right now. Um, and also Carvana investors are speculating that the company could be bought out at a higher price. I'm not even going to touch that, guys, because to me, that's pure speculation. Now, Carvana is number 46 in Weebill's popularity list. And I circled this and I'm watching it because I want to see how that changes over the next um, few days or weeks. Um, Carvana finally was given some short-term bullish signals and it's showing a short-term move to the upside. Now we're still seeing medium and long are down, but guys, that's because it's been downtrending for over a year now. And this is the first bullish sign that we're seeing. As you can see at $6.50, we got this nice little doji here that indicated the reversal. And then we got these three bullish signals and a neutral signal that printed, which surpassed the uh, bearish signals that we had gotten when it dropped on earnings. And as you can see, um, we have a strong bullish signal going into this week. Now, if we look at how the 27 analysts that have ranked this have um, given it price targets, we're seeing a hold at 59%. 22% give it a buy, 15% give it a strong buy, and one gives it an underperform. And interestingly enough, the one giving it an underperform, guys, is the same one who gave it a $400 price target less than a year ago. Um, it's giving a price target between $5 and $100, and you can bet who the $5 one is. The average being $28.32. Now, as Carvana starts to move up, and as we see that... Um, they make adjustments to the interest rates, I do believe we continue to see this stock move to the upside. Um, and these analysts increase their ratings and um, what they say about Carvana. Guys, the fact that, you know, inflation seems to be coming down and hopefully that will indicate that we're not going to be getting as aggressive, um, you know, rate hikes by um, Powell. This should be very bullish for Carvana and you can watch my last video for more details on that because I don't want to make this too long and lose your attention span. But I also want to show you now this is Fintel what they're saying about institutional ownership and guys please remember that this is just a tool because the information that they give us is not necessarily up to date and also shorts do not have to disclose their positions under current um you know, rules of the stock market, which there are some things on the table to try to change that. But right now, the only ones that are required to say whether or not they're short in the stock are um, firms, you know, that are like pension funds and things like that, that have a mandatory um, reporting of that. Uh, but as you can see, 
there are currently 129.80% reported shares long. So over 100% of the stock is reported long by institutional owners. That's not even counting the insider owners or others. My guess is some of these are shorting it that aren't disclosing it. But according to Fintel, there's 660 total institutions that own the stock. 598 of them are long, 31 of them are short, and 31 of them have combined long short positions. Again, guys, this is just a tool because these, you know, unfortunately are, don't have to be reported right away and are not necessarily accurate. However, I do believe that we are going to see shorts get smoked in this because the short interest is currently, the reported short interest is reportedly 43.5%. Now guys, I'm a betting person that would be willing to say this is probably a lot higher because again, remember, they do not necessarily have to disclose this. There are only 600,000 shares available to borrow at this time. If somebody's crazy enough to try to short this and the cost to borrow is cheap. I don't know why, but it's between 6.83 and 7.61%. Um, so, you know, guys, they still have some sort of an opportunity here. However, um, with the insider buying and with its popularity growing, I see Carvana moving to the upside and I think it's going to happen very quickly. Um, currently the short volume ratio on Friday was 47.11%. And guys, I believe that with weekly options, they were trying to prevent this from ripping, um, and then losing too much money because, um, you know, they could have gotten smoked, but now we have this week going forward and monthly options where we do have a true potential to, um, get a short and gamma squeeze going. Now, the short volume ratio has been between 32.49 and 70% in the past two weeks. Like I said, on Friday, it was 47.11%. And the failure to deliver, guys, um, you know, they were up, you know, showing for Tuesday because Monday there was no failure to deliver because of holiday. So Tuesday it's showing they have to come up with 181,369. Tuesday, 312,492. My guess is these have already been covered because if you notice that Thursdays and Fridays failure to deliver is get less and less, 6,000 and 4,000. And guys, with the current amount of shares available to borrow, these aren't going to come into play. Again, this is solely a tool that I'm trying to show you, uh, but I do believe that these have been covered um, and they are not going to affect us this week. I am curious to see what's gonna happen though as the updated numbers come out. Maybe not the next report for the following two weeks, but the two weeks after might be extremely um, interesting given the fact that the price per share has gotten so low and I'm sure that this has been very very heavily shorted during that time is this about to explode on them and are they going to get in trouble like they were back in April with these FTDs I do not know but I'm definitely curious to see what's going to be coming anyways guys keep Carvana on your watch list for this week I do believe the potential for a massive short squeeze is in the works thank you so much for watching and have an excellent